In Barbados, countless hours of work are done each day without pay. It's the quiet, unpaid work that keeps households and communities thriving. This work is vital, yet it's often invisible, unaccounted for in economic data. Unpaid care work, including domestic tasks, childcare, and adult care, plays a fundamental role in the lives and economy of Barbados. Globally, women perform 76% of all unpaid care work. In Barbados, women spend nearly double the amount of time as men on unpaid domestic and care work. Women dedicate about 18% of their day, about 4.3 hours, while men contribute around 10% or 2.4 hours. This burden spans three major categories, housework, child care, and adult care. What is happening in Barbados with regard to unpaid care work is what is happening regionally, is what is happening globally. Women continue to shoulder the disproportionate burden and responsibility for unpaid care work. What this means is that women then have less time for things like entrepreneurship, for seeking employment, uh, or even seeking the types of jobs that they may want. They may decide, okay, I have to take a part-time job instead of taking a full-time job. We in no way want to convey that these care activities are the wrong thing to do. What we are basically saying is that this uh, unpaid care work should be shared equitably and it shouldn't translate into a burden. It is really important to go beyond anecdotes to present the lived realities of people. It is always important to hear from the people who are experiencing unpaid care work, to really hear from them what their challenges are, what their um, priorities would be uh, are, what supports they need, and what they also admire about the role that they play. We shouldn't also see unpaid care work in just a negative light. We hear from mothers, we hear from fathers, we hear from persons with disabilities, we hear from the elderly um, and retired persons, we hear from young people. We want to see what young people also think about on paid care workers. And this is important because we will take this information to policymakers um, and complement this with the data, the numbers, and really paint a full picture of unpaid care work in Barbados. And hopefully as we continue this work in the wider Caribbean. When it was my both my parents um, and me and my sister it was primarily my mother that would have taken on most of the household chores. So she would have cut, cleaned, uh, et cetera. And we would, I guess, also assist with our own personal cleaning. Um, so that would be like um, cleaning our bedrooms, cleaning our own dishes, et cetera. Uh, but after my parents would have gone through some sort of divorce, um, things changed. So when my father left the house, my mother stopped um cleaning cooking um and doing those things as much as she used to um so the responsibility became more shared i think that there is a lot of guilt on both sides both the individual who is receiving the care and mm -hmm. the individual who is giving the care because mm -hmm. particularly if it is a case where the, 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 the care or the tasks that need to be done must be done throughout the day. You know, there are some individuals that you may be able to provide the care um, in the morning time and then you're relatively free <clears throat> during the day until the evening when, you know, you get the person ready for bed, have their, their supper and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, then there may be other persons because of the health issue or the mental health issue it, it requires more constant care and I think that even to so the caregiver to, to take a moment and say let me go downtown and pay a few bills and maybe stop and buy a uh, drink or roti or something they feel guilty about it so they may do everything online or they may ask another family member or a neighbor or somebody to go and pay bills and so on. So they're not really getting any respite. And I think that, you know, um, 
that creates a lot of guilt and other emotional other emotions also in the individual. But I do think that young people now, a lot of people are so stressed just trying to make it for themselves that they do not have the capacity. I don't think that everybody wants to do it. I just, it's actually a lot of mental and physical work to look after somebody who's unwell. And sometimes they just can't do it. So I don't think it's, it's that people are all so horrible nowadays. I do think there's an element of not being able to, be able to do it. Workers contribute tremendously to the economic, the social, and the everything development of Barbados. Mm -hmm. Without these persons, women specifically, of whom the majority are women, Barbados would not have progressed and developed in the manner that it has. Mm -hmm. We would not have reached the point that we have, and we're looking to progress further. Mm -hmm. And if we don't give recognition to persons, because we always recognize sports people, we recognize um, all types of people, uh, but we don't recognize this particular group, which has stayed in the background and contributed such a significant amount to the development and progress of Barbados. You go home and you sit down and you play a game whilst you say, watch TV and scroll through your phone. And I'm like, but listen, if I see all this stuff that has to be done, like my eyes are open, aren't your eyes open? <laughs> you know, see, it's true. like we are about to the Yeah. And then sometimes, unfortunately, um, they may require a checklist or you to tell them to do well, that. Yep. It. Mm. No, you gotta also know put time and effort into creating a checklist or a planner saying to you this is what i need you to do yeah. bum, 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 bum. it's like yeah, it's i tell you i'm doing the same thing i, also I can just do it myself know. sometimes and then just doing it because it's easier i can do it just, myself yeah, yes but it's i do agree with you in terms of you know may not being helpful but like like you said, I think no, we set up ourselves for that mm -hmm. because we are super good and we do everything. So then he doesn't have to do anything. And I think that, you know, sometimes we do that. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. In terms yeah. of we want to be good wives. It was interesting when you said work because I never really thought about it as work. But realistically, when you go to your eight to five and you come home. Is really that you are working again. again. Some nights ending at midnight um, to be back up four or five o'clock in the morning to go again. Mm -hmm. That was my time that I honestly stand and I didn't work for eight hours and two for the, two going for the bus for the morning and two coming back for the evening. And so then something is like, yeah, out for actually like maybe 12 hours. Mm -hmm. So then I come back and find it there. So something I said, I just don't know y'all, just take everything for granted. Because I was so used to my mom cooking for me all my life, that I didn't realize how much of a privilege it is. Know that if I don't cook, I don't eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to buy fast food. I mean, I, 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 I can't afford that. Some days I know for sure, you're running late or whatever, it's like, yes. motion, frustration. It's like sometimes boys get up and like, mm. We won't move, but then we're fast enough. My 14 year old spent all in the bath. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like the whole, like, like the whole, it can get really, really stressed out, especially then if you have stuff to do. I get the feeling that I may take it for granted. Mm. So you're doing all these things and then they decide, like, do they really appreciate it? Do they really value it? Right. Do you exactly. value it? Mm -hmm. so you're doing it called, as, as, as we say, as men, you're free to. I the provider, I got the so I got the mini head, I gotta make sure everybody good and yeah. they, they come last. But suddenly just look back and said, you know, you really really appreciate the effort. Yeah. The stress <laughs> that you put yourself in to keep yep. everything together. It's a moral responsibility mm -hmm. uh, that you are responsible to doing it. You know, your mother take care of you, you take care of your mother, all your all your siblings, if your brother or sister in any, any difficulty. You know, you see that as a moral responsibility. So when I, when they look at it from that perspective, it causes a little different uh, experience to me. My mother was my mother come from that water in the school where they didn't know washing machine. My mother used to wash everyone clothes by hand, and mm -hmm. that was who my mother is, right? And when I got married, when when I moved in with my wife, it was so hard to adjust because. 
I the expectations was that we would feel awkward in the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you might, you might. Because we did doing so far, doing so far hard, but not because of cheating or anything. It was just because of how soul things and all it like. Mm -hmm. The way I used to live and the way she just lived is two different lives, you know? I think my, my world was always the outside, those, those hardcore things. I guess for the relationship to work, I realized, well, listen to me, if you want these things done, you all do them yourself. Mm -hmm. And I guess that that's where the transformation then come because mm -hmm. I'm saying now that the expectations of me as a man to keep my house together Lies with me doing what I want then, and not what I think my wife should do. These insights highlight the need for policies to recognize, reduce, and redistribute unpaid care work. Recommendations include flexible work arrangements, enhanced parental leave, and community support systems. These are essential steps toward valuing care work and creating opportunities for all. Research shows that if unpaid care work were recognized and valued, it would contribute an estimated 10% to 39% of global GDP. In the Caribbean, the gap in unpaid care work creates barriers that ripple across society. But by addressing these imbalances, we have the chance to build a fairer, more inclusive future. <music> Unpaid care work is the backbone of our society. It's time to bring it into the spotlight, to recognize its value and to support the people who do this work every day. When we value care, we empower families, uplift economies, and, and create, create a, a future, future where, where everyone, everyone can, can thrive. thrive.